Greetings, and welcome back to Phasmophobia. So, this episode we'll be doing a professional Tanglewood Street House. Another team went here and failed, and I've got a survive with only the starter items. Um, so we're going to do that. Uh, they've done a... released a few teasers for what they plan to um, do here with Phasmophobia. We've got a little bit of glitch lag glitch. I didn't see where my uh, ball went. Uh, they're adding another form of evidence. Uh, it is a laser grid. It, uh, it appears to, to look like a laser projector or laser grid projector uh, as the tool. And there is a new ghost coming out that can only be found by that. All right, very, uh, more active ghost, more violent ghost, and it's a stalker. All right, EMF reader can't do the smudge sticks. Unlikely that I can escape during a hunt since I don't have smudge sticks. Steven Garcia. <clears throat> and it looks like the breaker is in the basement. Uh, did I grab the key? No. Might want to take that with me. But yeah, they're adding two new ghost types, and one of them will use the new evidence, because uh, it's invisible, unless you um, are able to catch it on camera with the uh, laser grid. Yeah, and there, this uh, haziness or fogginess that we've got is a side effect of their new lighting engine. Uh, there's been a lot of complaints about it. Oh, hello. Can you give us a sign? Sounds like we got a bit of a shy ghost. I heard nothing when I asked for a sign. Uh, not as shy as I thought. Now, for all I know, you're just stalking me and this is not your room. But I tell you what. I'll be back. So we'll head out and get a video camera and a UV light and see if we can't narrow down the ghost room. Make sure I'm not muted. I'm not. All right. Um. Yep, if I switch off of the video camera, it shuts off. So we'll have to go in with the video camera on and set it down first. And I'm thinking I'm going to check the utility closet first. They're also redoing the uh, video cameras to where you can actually look through them while you're holding them. Uh, kind of like uh, you do in Ghost Hunter Core. Seeing any fingerprints? None on that window. None on the sliding door. Now, 
that's entirely possible. The ghost was just stalking me and that was not its room, so I'm going to do a quick search and see if I see fingerprints elsewhere. Did not. So let's go out and check our camera. Now, I know I left the light on, but um, <clears throat> you can usually spot ghost orbs with the light on in most places. Now, it's awfully bright there, so if the ghost orb is rolling around there, I won't see it. But if it passes up to this, this area or crosses in front of that or it's in that room, I would see it. I thought I just saw something over there. We will need to cut the lights out for the utility room, and I will also need to check a different angle. That helped. Why didn't you just go ahead and turn it off for me? Alright. Um, we've got a book. And a spirit box is our last two pieces of evidence gathering to bring in. I'm not quite as sold on the utility room anymore. I think it was just following me. But I will leave this in here. Where are you? Yeah. I did not mean to pick up that. I meant to pick up this. And we'll check the ceiling. Did I just see my breath? No. Only a two. We can now keep the EMF reader with us while we hunt for, um, see if this is an EMF-5 ghost. We do have our first piece of evidence, at least. It is a spirit box ghost. It is fairly active, too. Um, of course, that was the call-out. It is going to be more active, especially when I'm around. Alright, I don't think there's a ghost orb in this room. I will check the kitchen, and I will check the uh, garage. Because it is possible I got the voice response, even though that's not technically its room. Alright, so... Oh, wrong button. Right now, we just have spirit box. Didn't really narrow it down much. I don't believe it's going to be freezing temperatures. So let's see. Um, ghost writing is a possibility. I haven't found the orb yet. Uh, da -da 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 -da. EMF 5 and ghost writing are a possibility. It could be an Oni. Ghost riding freezing temperatures. I, it's unlikely to be a demon at this point. Um, gin is still a possibility. I don't think it's going to be a mare. Poltergeist is unlikely since I haven't found fingerprints yet. And Wraith is unlikely. And spirit is unlikely. And my sanity is draining pretty quickly. I think it killed the breaker. Uh, let me check the camera. No, I'm pretty sure there's not a ghost orb in this room. I would definitely see it from this angle. 
it, you know, it would float around the sides or around the center. So if there is a ghost orb, it's in an adjacent room. But it killed the breaker. Um, he dropped that and carried this. And just see if I can find some fingerprints. Really quick, like. All right, we do have a fingerprint ghost. It is not written in. So we do have a fingerprint ghost. I should have checked the EMF reading on that. Let's get the breaker back on. Check this room for a ghost orb. A uh, good angle. Let's start this way. drawing me back in. I'm thinking poltergeist at this point. Uh, I'm thinking we're going to find a ghost orb in the garage. Just through something else. Oh, I didn't look for my breath while I was in the garage. I thought I just saw something over on that edge. Now we are going to need to check that end of the room. But if it was over in this corner, it should loop out enough for me to spot it. But that's not completely a guarantee. Though I do know for sure it's not over on that side. So we have... I keep hitting the wrong key. Um, we have... Oh, did I get a... Uh, just one bone photo so far. We had fingerprints. So we have either spirit, wraith, or poltergeist. Poltergeist would be ghost orb. Spirit would be EMF 5. No, ghost riding. And wraith is, of course, freezing temperatures. So EMF is not a possibility at this point. Um which I was pretty sure wasn't going to be. I'm in the 70s. None of these can hunt me above 50. Uh, now, with the call out we got, where it is a more aggressive ghost, there is the possibility it could hunt a little earlier, but it'd only be like 5%, be like 55. Uh, so, I, as long as I'm above 60, I still have nothing to worry about. writing yet. I do have an objective to get a three-star ghost photo, but the thing hasn't manifested yet, so... And I, I didn't notice freezing temperatures while I was in there. I think I'm just going to have to keep moving the book around or uh, 
the camera around until I can figure out what the last piece of evidence is. Hopefully I can get it before my sanity declines too much. Okay, there is not going to be a ghost orb here in the garage. So we can check the kitchen. That's the last place there could potentially be a ghost orb. Because it could it could definitely be wandering through these three rooms. And I should probably also move the uh, book in there as well. And I need to, to be alert for my breath while I'm wandering through these rooms. Temperature is a hard one to get lately. Um, it doesn't always drop properly. Uh, when I came in with a thermometer once, I noticed that I would only get, I, I never got my breath but I did get a point where I got freezing temperatures on the thermometer at like one point on the ground as I was walking through a bathroom. Okay, never mind. No ghost orb. We have a spirit. So, we have finally identified our ghost. It never manifested which I was surprised with that call out it should have been more likely to manifest. Um, got a few decent pictures. Let's go ahead and enter that in. We have ghost writing which gives us spirit. So we've identified this ghost with just the starter equipment uh, and managed to uh, stay at a decent level of sanity to the point where it would never hunt. We weren't able to get those two. But there we go. Now let's look at our statistics when we get out of here. Hundred and sixty. Um, because we're missing two pieces of evidence and five dollars extra in photos. So that would have been another uh, seventy-five dollars basically to give us the two thirty-five max. Gained a level. Alright, we were in the ghost room for two minutes. Hmm. Would that make it the garage? Yeah, I believe it would. I, I believe we only spent two minutes in the garage. Only spent about four and a half minutes in the dark. 36 interactions, zero events. Alrighty, well thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time.